What's going on my dudes one step here today explaining the class system in marvel rival because for those that do not know we got three different classes in this game we got vanguard for these characters here a lot of characters are duelists like this and then as of right now we got seven that are strategists so what do these classes even mean for the character like what does it actually do for them what does it mean well today i'm going to help explain all that so subscribe here for more marvel rivals content and let's get into it so vanguard is just another word for tank in the community we just call these characters tanks because they are bigger they have more health they are meant to take take a lot of the heat from the battle because they can take it. Venom here has 650 base health, 800 if you have Spider-Man on your team. Groot has 700 base health. Some of, some of them like Venom do have pretty good damage too, but some of them like Doctor Strange are really meant to just kind of stop the damage. They're supporting your Our team in the sense of defense. Same thing with Magneto who can stop projectiles, take a lot of the heat. Of course you got Hulk. They are called tanks for a reason. They got the help. They can take the hits while your other teammates are out there doing the damage. You're helping kind of uh, facilitate that defense and helping them stay alive a lot longer. Now, what about duelists? Duelists are what we call a DPS, which means damage per second, because they are the characters that are putting out usually the most damage per second. So take example of Star Lord here. We can absolutely just delete our opponent in less than a second. But duelists slash DPS characters don't usually have a ton of health. They're sometimes referred to as glass cannons because they can just put out the damage, but in the right situation, they also die pretty fast. As you can see, they're very different than tanks or vanguards in this game. They usually got better mobility they put out more damage and while the opponents are focused on your tanks you're the one in their faces doing the damage for the tanks essentially some dps like namor here want to stay back and do the damage from afar they just sit back here pinging your opponents over and over again they're throwing out turrets to help their damage per second and they can get it done another word that we use for strategists is support because they are the actual support of the team as you can see here our opponents are dying we're gonna just heal them so they don't die we are quite literally supporting them we'll throw out a health bubble so again they just don't die so while they're not dying um your opponents are a lot of people refer to support characters as healers because all of these strategists have some form some way to heal yourself heal your allies and if you don't have a support on your team you're typically gonna die a lot faster and a lot more often than your opponents especially if they have a support on their team it is really crucial in a game like this to have some kind of support on your team i'd recommend having at least two but you need at least one not only can you support them with like health we can also support them with like more damage do more damage galactic bot and also get healed so you're typically behind the line supporting your allies in that way sure we can do damage if we need to yeah but yeah you're supporting with health okay make sure they don't die give them more damage stuff like that i mean heck adam warlock's ultimate is just to revive your allies oh no he's dead let's get him out that is Adam's ultimate. We're not doing damage. We're not doing anything crazy. We are supporting our team by reviving those that just died. We got Vanguard and or tanks. Duelists, also known as DPS. Strategists, otherwise known as support characters. If your entire team is DPS, you might think, oh yeah, we can do a lot of damage. But you're going to also die really fast. You're not going to heal. Typically, the most ideal team is usually one or two tanks, two DPS, maybe three, and one to two support. You'll see a lot of teams go two, two, two. So that is the class system in Marvel Rivals. Hope you learned something today. If you did, give this video a thumbs up subscribe here for more content take it one step at a time and go ahead and click into these videos next for more marvel rivals news guides reactions and more